early payers are either fake or stolen. Welcome to the Batch Floss channel. I'm Chris Aponte. Having access to limited hype sneaker releases is a gold star for both content creators and resellers. However, there is an ugly truth behind them. As a content creator of retail products, there is a lot of pressure to be among the first to have the product in hand for views. Here in the sneaker world, the shady opportunity lies in the fakes. The counterfeit sneaker market is probably a billion dollar market, though there are no records because it's uh, illegal. The factories there often create counterfeit releases way before the retails are available. Take this Jordan 11 Cherry for instance. Now I've had this for months. This shoe doesn't release until Christmas of 2022, roughly six months after I already had it in hand. Now, if I wanted to, I could make a video called Early Release and insinuate its authenticity. And you know what? I could probably get away with it. Most of the audience would be none the wiser. I get early content, more views, and I didn't pay resale price for the shoe. So it's all win-win for me, baby. But... I wouldn't do that. It's insincere. And I think most of my audience knows better too, but it gets done. Luckily, those fake pairs probably wouldn't pass an authentication test, mostly because of the fresh glue smell. So what about early pairs that are authentic? How do they get in the hands of resellers and on those resale platforms before launch? It's simple, theft. But most of these pairs are not spoils of a successful heist like that one in Memphis in September 2022. This is more clandestine. There are lots of opportunities in the retail supply chain to, you know, steal. The shoes are shipped from the manufacturer by boat and go to one of the distribution centers by truck and shipped out of these distribution centers to, to retailers and direct to consumer. These pairs that are stolen from the supply chain are most likely organized by someone with access. Do you think it's an accident that the back of the Nike warehouse in Memphis, Tennessee has no cameras? Come on. That person with access can sell to a reseller for a premium. Then they can take the retail value of it and put it back in the till. And a place like Bodega or Foot Locker would be none the wiser. In the industry, it's called backdooring and it's shady as f I'm looking at you, Marcus Jordan. So this is not stealing from Nike or Foot Locker. They got their money. Who they're stealing from is you. Think about it. Every early pair that gets sold is one less pair that we, the consumers, had a chance to purchase at the retail price at launch. It's stealing from us. Resale platforms like StockX, Goat, and eBay have early pairs listed right now. Do you think they're asking any questions when they list a shoe and get the pairs in? Yo, let me see your receipt. No. Wikipedia's definition of a fence is an individual who knowingly buys stolen goods to later resell them for a profit. The fence acts as a middleman between thieves and the buyers of stolen goods who may not be aware that the goods are stolen. Resale platforms are just the fence, profiting off of, well, scalping. So what can be done about this? Well, unfortunately, nothing. So long as the consumer keeps buying these early pairs, shut up and take my money. These scalping platforms will still sell them. And notice the big shoe brands aren't taking any of these resale platforms to court for selling their products before the launch date. Why? Because the resale market is basically free advertising for the shoe brands. Everyone in that supply chain is complicit. And we, the consumers, are the ones that lose out. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Join the new Discord. Don't forget to subscribe to my other channel. Links are in the description below. And remember, real sneakerheads show love.